Hello, in this video I am going to cover the character variable also known as char. You're probably, if you are you know, speaking to people, you'll probably see it as char and the key word to use it is char as well. So first of all, let's do a couple of hash include. So hash include stdio.h. We're going to do another one, hash include limits.h. This will allow us to check you know the size limits of character we want to check all that stuff some tutorials don't cover this i want to cover as much as possible because the plan for this c tutorial series is to be the ultimate guide out there like the best guide whether it's in video form or not like i want this to trump everything so i want to cover as much as possible so let's do a few printfs and the first one i'm gonna say character bit I'll explain all this in a second. Percentoy backslash n backslash n is just a new line character. We are just formatting it. I'm gonna put char underscore bit. So we're gonna be printing not chart char underscore bit bit. This is a hash defined from here, and we want a total of three for now. We'll have six in total, but we want to cover three for now. Min. max and it's because charming <laughs> it almost sounds like i'm saying charming so let's see char min char max or char max char max okay so let's give this a run so we get eight negative 128 and 127 so this just means that character is stored as an eight bit integer yes you heard that correctly characters which are letters you know, technically the number character as well, equal sign, that sort of stuff, all on your keyboard. Underline, uh, underneath, you know, the surface, it is stored as an integer. So that actually has some nice, neat little benefits. I'll discuss that a little bit later on, but just bear that in mind. And it's an 8-bit integer. So yeah, the total, you know, possible values of 255. So in this case, the minimum is negative 128, and the max is hundred and twenty seven okie dokie so there we go and do, 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 do. now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and these should always be the same we can see the signed character men and the signed character max and again like I said these should always be the same if you don't know what signed is check out my video on signed versus unsigned integers Basically, signed in terms of integers, it allows negative values, unsigned doesn't. And we'll put S, S, so signed character min, signed character max, save it, run it. We get, again, it should be the exact same as this, but there is a different hash defined which I wanted to, you know, show you. There's another one that you can do, which is unsigned character max, and this is just uchar max. There we go. It is 255. It is basically the whole range. And you might think, can we do it on charmin like so? And no, we get an error. Because if it's an unsigned integer of any type, any length, it starts at zero always. So it's zero to whatever max. And in this case, it is 255. Okay, so that's you know the underlying basics of characters done. How do we create a character variable? Really simple. You put the keyword char or lowercase space then the name of your variable so the ch that's what i'm calling it and then you put it equals you can put spaces here i do just because it's easier to read the code equals and then single quotation marks if you put double and i'll put something like that this should give us an error let's see what happens if I, let me save it so we did get something Warning, initialization of char from char asterisk. Basically, it's, it's saying that this is a string, but you're trying to assign it to a single character. So there is a problem. Depending on the compiler, they may give you a warning, they may give you an error, you might try and handle it in some way, but single quotation mark is what you want. And to actually print this out, it's really simple. You put printf, and you put percent %c, that's the format specifier. I'm going to put backslash n. 
comma c h and if I print that one second let me clear the screen run it and there we go we get the letter a printed pretty simple stuff let me show you what happened this is very interesting if I one second I'll just copy and paste this line if I have this exact line but instead of putting the format specifier to expect a character probably to expect an integer a number what do you think will happen would it crash no it's printed at 65 so what's happened here let me show you if i put in uppercase b it will print out 66. if i put in lowercase a it will print out 97. so i'm thinking seems a bit random but let me show you keep pressing ctrl a instead of ctrl s if we go to my web browser and i'll type in ascii table you may you know have heard of this it just stands for american standard code for information interchange i just remember that uh, you know that was actually one of the pretty sure one of the questions on my college paper exam college you know age between 16 and 18 in the uk not um, no american college and if you look at here here we go so this is a basic ascii table and if you look at the decimal value if we go to 65 it corresponds to the character a 66 corresponds to character B, 97 corresponds to the character A, but lowercase. So if you have the uppercase value, you add 32 and you'll get the lowercase, you know, decimal value. If you have the lowercase, you just take away 32, etc. And all the other characters will represent some sort of value as well. So you might be thinking, why is that really that interesting? You can also do this then. To create an int i if i assign it the value 65 if i was to say print f nothing new here if i just put percent i backslash n i and i'll give that a run it prints out 65 because it's a number but if i put the format specifier to expect a character it actually converts it to an a so it's pretty cool because you can actually manipulate the characters as if they were numbers so what you could do again we haven't covered this statement you may already know about it if you do fantastic but you could essentially check if you know again this is not an if statement video or a conditional statement video but you could do something like this you could say if ch is greater than or equal to a and ch is less than or equal to z what that has and i'll just put these so you don't get any errors what this has the effect of doing is if it's an uppercase character because it's treated as an underlying integer and all of the uppercase letters and lowercase letters are next to each other you can actually do almost like mathematical conditions based on this so that's it i might do a separate video covering an example of that once we've done conditional statements probably will and if you have any questions feel free to join the discord group over four five the members now several programming channels if you want to check out the source code for this there's a link in the description to the github page and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video